can you make a movie out of a video game? In this case, no. We saw Super Mario Brothers, so you know what that means. Now it's time for How did this go Hello, people of Earth and people of Seattle. <laughs> we are live here at Bumbershoot Super Mario Brothers. This is going to be great. Uh, joining us, as always, my two co hosts, uh, Jason Manzoukas. Give him a warm welcome. June Diane Raphael. And we have a very special guest today, uh, the enormously funny, incredibly talented Jenny Slate. Give it up for Jenny Slate. I have a seat right there. All right, guys. Super Mario Brothers. Um, so good. So good. So good. Uh, you Just know, like the game. <laughs> Everything about the game that you love, but none of that. Uh, <laughs> I, well, you know, I do think that just from the beginning of this movie, it starts off like crazy bananas. Like they don't even. Oh, you think? Yeah. I mean, no, you, come they, on. It starts off pretty normal. <laughs> they don't even give you a chance to kind of like be like, oh yeah, you like these characters. No, no, they go absolutely you, insane and there's built in i feel like built into this movie should be like hey you all play the game this is based on that like they could have done something that tied the game and brought the game into the movie no instead they did something very different well this movie is really about how the mario brothers became super yes <laughs> right that uh, literally sequel. spoiler alert that's kind of the last line of the movie yeah. That's what happened. Uh, the guy, uh, it's the not new, kind of. It's no, it the is. last line of the it, it movie. Well, so well, no, no, you forget the real last line of the movie is the cliffhanger ending that sets oh it up for the sequel that, thank God, no one will see. I, I think they should make that sequel right now. <laughs> oh, man. Um, this... I guess that's my question, though, is what did we know about the Mario Brothers from the game? Because I've, I know you only played the game once. I, I didn't I have, have Nintendo. You, so I watched this as a film. <laughs> well, and this is, and, and Jenny, this yeah. is interesting because I did a little bit of research. Bob Hoskins did not know that this movie was based on a video game until he was in the middle of shooting it. Of course not. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. It says that Bob Hoskins, while shooting the movie, his son asked him what he was working on. He mentioned the film's title. His son immediately recognized it and showed Hoskins the game on his Nintendo. So he, he read this and was like... Yep, this yep. is a movie I gotta make. <laughs> he was like, I want in. I want and his in. Agent, his agent was like, hey man, you know what? This is based on a pretty popular... You know what? I don't need to hear anything else. I play a plumber that goes to, <laughs> through an interdimensional vortex. I, I wind up on what appears to be the set of Pluto Nash, I believe. His, that his name is that... Mario Mario. <laughs> yes. Mario Mario. That's probably the biggest laugh of the movie. Um... Yeah, the sets look like Judge Dredd meets Pluto Nash. But um, I do want to just show you the opening. Just to, this is what, this sets the bar. The, like, so from everything here forward, like just, I can't, yeah, just watch it. Here we go. We'll, we'll pull it up. Because when you watch it, you'll be like, what? Here we go. A long, long time ago, the Earth was ruled by dinosaurs. They were big, so not a lot of people went around hassling them. Actually, no people went around hassling them because there weren't any people yet. Just the first tiny mammals. Basically, life was good. You know, it just don't get no better than this. Yeah! Brooklyn, then something happened. Million A giant years. meteorite struck the Earth. Goodbye, dinosaurs! What if the dinosaurs weren't all destroyed? What if the impact of that meteorite created a parallel dimension where the dinosaurs continue to thrive and evolve into intelligent, vicious, aggressive beings? Okay. Just like us. Nope. And hey, what if they found a way back? Oh, what? What? Oh, what? shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, what shit. What are you talking about? This is happening. 
if a what meteor if? hit Earth and created an alternate dimension <laughs> where dinosaurs exist, what? What if they find their way back? <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Just right? like the game. You see, what, you see what we're setting up, right? Dinosaurs with Brooklyn accents and Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> And they didn't even have uh, Bob Hoskins do his Mario voice. That's just a random Brooklyn dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is good that the accents did start back 65 million years ago. Oh, my God. And I love that, like, that is, that's the beginning of the movie. Like, that is what's supposed to get you excited. Oh, my God, they did it. They did it. The <laughs> All of universe. my dreams have come true. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, the choice to animate that whole section, the, later on you do see dinosaur reptile type creatures. When they go into dinosaur Hatton. But they're like Jurassic Park. Exactly. Yeah. Like Yoshi actually looks a lot like the raptors from Jurassic Park. And because I didn't know who Yoshi was when he came into the room, I was like, oh my God. But then he was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yoshi really is nice. a nice raptor. He's, He's really a very nice. Except yeah. when he started eating that woman's leg. He was not nice to her. Yeah, not she nice to her at all. She deserved it. No. <laughs> I have a real problem with the... I mean, listen, I don't want to poke too many holes in this, but like... Let's not. I, Let's not. I, I'm pretty suspect of the physics that a meteor crashing to Earth creates an alternate dimension. Jason, yep. it's a movie. I, I don't think that's Well, Jason, that works. to be fair, to be fair, you're not a scientist, right? Yeah. What is your degree in from college? I am not a scientist. <laughs> yeah. But I'm pretty sure uh, that str- striking something very hard does not <laughs> does not cause a rift in the dimension in But it, you're not like, positive. I don't think yeah, that but again, you don't know that. To the multiverse. <laughs> Again, I'm going to say it's you not are fact, not. Yeah, yeah you're not okay, a scientist. But to be fair, I am not a scientist. <laughs> no. All right, fine. The first 15 minutes of this movie is kind of like a dramedy of these plumbers. I mean, we're not seeing too much super. We're just seeing Mario Brothers doing Mario. their plumbing job. And by the way, they're not very good. They're very unsuccessful. They can't get work. They can't. No. Were you guys confused about what was going on here? Like, they get a call. It's like, Mario Brothers, we need you guys to fix this leak. And then they have to race there to beat another competing plumber. Like, is that how plumbing works? You send out a call oh, wait, to no, like, wait. who gets here first gets the job. That's how I do everything. <laughs> <laughs> I call four different versions of whatever I need. Whoever gets there first, they get the job. They wanted it the most. Also, a big uh, weird turn. Mario Brothers, you would think they would be brothers, right? That would probably be the, 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 the easiest thing. They're not. <laughs> They're not brothers. It is Mario and his like foster kid. That's what I. Yeah. I, I felt like he was like left on the stoop, but similar except, to. But that Princess like Daisy. Samantha Mathis's character was also left, left on, on the, the stoop. stoop. That's my favorite part, actually. I mean, uh, maybe yeah. I'm skipping. No, no, well, no, no. When they're out to dinner, like really casually, and someone's like, "I like your necklace," and it's like, if I had that necklace, I'd be like, "Oh, thanks for my grandmother or whatever." But she's like, "Thanks, it's from when I was found." Oh, I was abandoned. Like really. <laughs> well, actually, like, by the way, oh, the yeah. way they get into that conversation yeah. is from Mario Mario's <laughs> yeah. girlfriend. Daniela, who says, out of the clear blue sky, I own a tanning booth. You should come tanning. And then yeah. Princess Daisy says, oh, I can't because I can never take this necklace off. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, okay. And then they immediately, Strangest like... Strangest way in. They love each other, like, it's like instant horniness, and they're like, you also were found? That's the key. They get right, off to on each other being orphans. Yeah, that they makes love them- it. That, that makes them both. If that isn't a, a, a genre of pornography, it should be. Yeah. Orphan porn. Just orphans. Where oh. were you found? On a church stoop. Where were you found? In a supermarket aisle. Where were you found? In a dumpster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So hot. Does your, mo- does your mommy know you like it like this? I don't have a mommy. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> This movie is like pasta face because yeah. there is a lot of really weird Italian stereotypes going on. And sure. Bob Hoskins, not an Italian man. Uh, do, you think, do you think they were like, okay, we have Hoskins. He's the perfect Mario. Great. Who are we going to get to play his brother? Holy shit. We've got Leguizamo. They can't be brothers. Screw it. They're not brothers. <laughs> Leguizamo's an orphan, too. Great. That's even better. And Mario, uh, so- Mario has huge accent 
John Leguizamo, no accent. None. No. Um, I want to just read to you guys the, uh, some people who were uh, approached to play Mario. Danny DeVito did not respond to it's the script. It's an obvious choice. Turned it down. Uh, Tom Hanks then was attached what? to play Mario. <laughs> but the film executives <laughs> believed that Tom Hanks was more than the studio could afford, so they dismissed him and hired Bob Hoskins, believing Hoskins would be a more profitable actor. <laughs> Was this, but just because I'm not, was this like right around Who Framed Roger Rabbit era or no? It's like 1993. So no, I don't know. Wow. Yeah. Maybe. I just want to know, like, like Tom Hanks being like, mm, Philadelphia Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Philadelphia <laughs> Super Mario <laughs> Brothers. Well, here's my question, though. What does Mario Mario think Luigi is to him? Like, what do they think the relationship is? Do they think they're brothers? No, he said that he's, he, John Leguizamo goes, he's like a mother, a brother, a father, and an uncle to me. Right, but that's what I'm saying. What did they land on? What are, what would they, <laughs> you know what? what are they? To Plumbers. me, those all sound like excuses covering up a gay relationship. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird how John Leguizamo can't ask her on a date at all, and then uh, Bob Hoskins just stands <laughs> to the side, and he's like, come over for dinner, like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's the worst way to ask someone on a like date. I feel like Bob Hoskins, his girlfriend, what's her name? Daniela. Daniela. I feel like he's fucking her constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Although They I, just had like the electric chemistry of people who are just filthy. I actually thought, <laughs> they I did. thought his they chemistry really did. with they Big did. Bertha was a lot better than his chemistry with Daniela. Well, I gotta say oh. that this whole movie has odd adult themes. I mean, it really, it feels like... I don't know, like, uh, maybe I'm giving it too much credit, but Blade Runner meets, like, Nintendo or something like that. Because there are some moments that you're like, oh. <laughs> like, he keeps a bunch of women in, like, a little K. Like, all those women are kidnapped, and they're just hanging out in a room. And they're not in a bad mood at all. No, they're kind of psyched. They're like, I guess I'm not the princess. There's, there's the one girl. Yeah, <laughs> too bad I got these, kidnapped from Brooklyn. <laughs> all of these women have been kidnapped because they're looking for Samantha Mathis. The dummies who are looking for the escaped princess are looking. So they just keep kidnapping New York women and they're but all that's in my question is what what were they going who knows? on who knows? just woman he, no no remember he says she's got two arms two legs and one head okay right. so that's it so that's, that's the only it. criteria these guys um, were set up the, the the two henchmen were very dumb yeah <laughs> um, and then then the, the my favorite of the kidnapped women in the in the prison was them. the one who always Smoking. had a cigarette always had a yes. cigarette like for <laughs> days just was always like <laughs> we got to run we got to run <laughs> But my favorite, my my favorite part. There was a moment when they're all in that prison, and uh, and she goes, like, "I think I wrote it down. I'm just looking to see if it's here." Uh, basically, they go, "She's the princess." They find the princess, and then the other one goes, "Now it's getting interesting." <laughs> oh, you mean the fact that you were kidnapped, brought into an alternate dimension, run by dinosaurs, and kept as slaves? That wasn't interesting. But Boring. The development of the princess involved now. Now things are shaping up. That's the thing that this movie I struggle with so much about this movie because I'm like, I, again, I didn't play the game. I don't know much about it. But if you were like, oh, this movie, and you're not a scientist. Super Mario, I'm also not a scientist. If I, but if I was like pitching, I'm like, hey, I, I want to make a movie out of Super Mario Brothers. Oh, great. It's a super popular game. Jumping, turtles, turtle shells, mushrooms. Great. It takes place in a bleak dystopian multiverse <laughs> where dinosaurs run the world and I'm they're in. trying to combine two in. worlds into one and reduce everybody to their reptile past. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and look, I've read a lot of stuff online, and people get really defensive. It's like, come on, you, it's, it's, you, you can't base it on the game. I'm not saying make a movie where they run across screen bumping things with their head. <laughs> Just make them brothers. Just give us something. <laughs> Right. Let's not throw out everything. Like they just like we got the title now. Let's start from scratch. <laughs> um, so basically, this like Armand Asante lookalike uh, mafia boss is, and this is in the real New York, is threatening to shut down a uh, a dinosaur dig site right under it, the Brooklyn Bridge. Right under the Brooklyn Bridge, they get sucked into this Dino Land. Uh, well, and Princess Daisy Samantha Mathis, who's wearing a safari outfit. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. She's sure. dressed for an archaeological for dig in the desert, yes. but she is under the Brooklyn Bridge. That's <laughs> and they get sucked into this dino land where things are pretty different. 
Things are very, very different. It, did you realize the musician they bumped into was uh, Mojo, Mojo Nixon? Nixon yeah. yeah, from Jello Biafra. <laughs> Again, great for a kids movie. Um, I actually, I should play the clip of Mojo Nixon because uh, this is actually uh, this is kind of a moment in uh, in Dino Land here. Take a look. It this. could only be better if they ran into Gigi Allen. <laughs> I'm gonna cut myself and then shit on you. I'm just gonna shut. <laughs> here we go. Hey, hey guys, cheer up. Things will get worse. We ain't got no water. Hey, wait a minute. You can't arrest a guy for just singing a song. For anti Cooper songs, we can. Uh huh. Plumbers. No, he is. I'm just apprenticing. Get in the car. But I didn't do Get nothing. In the car. Are you telling us that you can arrest a guy for being a plumber? Get out of here. Get in there, plumber. No. Hey, what is all right, this? All right, all right. What do we do? I'm getting huh? arrested for being a plumber. Put his number down. That is a great scene where they. That is a real scene from this movie. <laughs> You they, might think that that's just some random assemblage of insanity, <laughs> but it's a real scene from they, this movie. This movie does a great thing, which not many movies do, which is they s- do exposition in every scene. Where are we? What's happening? Why is it happening? Why, if you're confused, here's an ADR scenes, line that we've given. A few given. scenes later, they're running out of the police station. We just we see them run out of the p- police station. Then the next shot, it's in this sort of Pluto Nash type, like just I generic. I love that Pluto Nash has become just a <laughs> reference point for us. Because the color scheme is exactly the same. Guys, if you haven't seen Pluto Nash, see Pl- go right now. We'll wait. Yeah. yeah. Come back Come in back an hour and, and 40 minutes. Make sense. As they're running into frame, they just scream out, oh, we're still in the police station. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Clearly there were problems where they when are. they were editing this movie. They're like, we need to like, because a lot of the movie, they recorded the dialogue later and they just threw it in because they're never on camera when they're you saying this stuff. You can hear it. They're like, in a, in the, they're like in the cab once or like the bad guys are in a car and you just see the car and someone just goes, out of my way. But yeah. it's like nowhere. No, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I do love the way the police are dressed in in studs. Yeah, they're uh, studs on the back of a leather jacket that say "police." It looks like uh, something out of like uh, the Village People. Um, now, I was I was, cons- I was concerned though about this. So, this is an alternate reality where dinosaurs have evolved into humans, or are they all? Humans wearing, or are they all dinosaurs wearing human costumes? Because Dennis Hopper, no. what is he putting his hands in that? What is him? that? Yeah, he I couldn't his- figure that part out either. But they are, I think what they're contending is that as we have evolved from apes, they have evolved from lizards, from dinosaurs. But they and look exactly thought- like humans. Yeah, and yeah. act exactly like humans. Because I would argue that humans look, I mean, if without the hair, similar to apes. But humans do not look similar to dinosaurs. I would say that evolutionary chain, they might be way far advanced. But you're not accounting for the meteor creating an environment Got it. Right. in which <laughs> dinosaurs still exist. They have evolved into their human counterparts that also sing the same songs we sing. <laughs> have the they, they, same police uniform. They have the same. Similar. They, adva- they have all the same technology that we have. Yes. They have pizza. And pizza. <laughs> But they oh when they order pizza though they order it with dino toppings but no so, mammal no, no mammal but oh. where are they are they stealing the humans from Brooklyn to put on their pizza I don't know because, I wanted to know about that because he did, <laughs> didn't he say I want like a triceratops yeah pizza? he asked for it. yeah but it would lead me to believe that a piece of a dinosaur is being put on his pizza yeah and she the lady who always has her like titties up yeah she um Daniela? drank Dan- no, no not this Daniela. is uh, Fiona Shaw. Fiona Shaw. Dennis Hopper's, oh, oh, girlfriend. Dennis Hopper's oh, yeah. girlfriend she drank a drink with snakes in it yes and the snakes go oh god yeah. like they made a little noise <laughs> no my we should is- uh, we should just mention by the way Dennis Hopper is the ruler of the dino land go ahead as please. as he is basically playing Frank from Blue Velvet as the bad guy in this movie <laughs> it, he might as well have the little thing and be like <gasps> It's that in- it's that intense. Now he, I know he, in this scene they're specifically looking for these plumbers because Koopa has asked for them and put the word out that these plumbers are here. 
But there are so many other points in the movie where people make comments like, oh, plumbers. Yeah, they don't oh, like the plumbers. Those. Plumbers are hated in this universe. Is that because... There's no water. Really? They, that's what, that's what Jello Biafra said. He goes, we ain't got no water. Wait, and you think they blame plumbers for that? I think they go, it reminds them of what they don't have. Oh, it reminds see, them, they go, oh, I, I thought, wish we had a rich history of plumbers, but we don't have water, okay, see, this, so I hate okay. these plumbers. This is a classic how did this get made moment, because I don't think that's it at all. I don't think it's at all either. I think what has happened in the past, within these 65 million years, is that plumbers, or t- the last 20 years, I guess, plumbers have been the closest to getting into this other dimension, so have caused trouble to them how what just by uh, you they know ran turning through the a wrong wall though valve. they, they, they get to the, the alternate valve. dimension i, I literally i th- <laughs> turning the wrong valve. i think that because the 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 mario brothers come in who are not technically are, brothers huh they're who are not the mario not brothers the mario, <laughs> the mario acquaintances <laughs> the, Mar- <laughs> the mario pals um <laughs> Their relationship is very uh, Batman and Robin in a world in which Bob Hoskins is Batman. <laughs> um, I gotta I give it up for Bob Hoskins because he really does sell the shit out of uh, Mario. I, I think he's I think a great he's actor great. in this movie. Yeah. Great yeah. in this. In an interview with the in, the, in an interview with the Guardian magazine, Hosker, uh, Hoskins answered Super Mario Brothers to these three questions: What is the worst job you've ever done? What's your biggest disappointment? And if you could edit your past, what would you change? <laughs> By the way, all three basically the same question. <laughs> um, his whole past? His okay. whole past. Just this movie. He broke his finger on this movie. So if you watch the movie, he's wearing a pink hand cast over his hand. So uh, for a majority of the movie, he is wearing a cast. I think, I was just going to say, I think that because they're plumbers and they are the enemy of, of Dennis Hopper, I think that's why people hate plumbers. I don't think the culture as a whole hates but plumbers. They, they don't even know. They've, they, they've only been in this other universe for hours. How does right, everybody know? They put, know they put the plumber alert out. They put the say wanted plumbers. But that's not, that's not how they're delivering those lines. But what about... <laughs> it's not. Are they're we analyzing actor the, choices? Yes. Those lines are being delivered like plumbers again, not my, like these guys. My biggest question is, did this take place after Mario s- saved that girl from the Donkey Kong? I want to know that, too. Yeah. Has, is this a Lord of the Rings scenario? Yes. Where Bilbo has already had his adventure, and now, and now he's just living life in the Shire? Because he did not, yes. Because <laughs> I, I felt like I felt like Mario had been through some stuff and he wasn't letting on 100%. Yeah, he, he, at some point, he should have been like, you know what? I've actually seen some pretty crazy stuff already. I battled an enormous ape for a woman's virtue. I had to run up ladders, jump over barrels. Things were tough. Yeah. Now, in the game, because I've never really played it, did they have any superpowers or anything like that? No. They would grow big. <laughs> yep. yep. Because and one they... of the big themes of the movie is using your tools. Oh, no, no. They do more plumbing. They don't do any plumbing in the games. There's no right. Would you guys? They don't, there's no plumbing in Mario. They go in pipes, but they never like a but knocking things never, with like, wrenches. Wrench. You don't. You don't have to be like a a b b wrench 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 wrench. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Righty tighty lefty loosey. <laughs> Um, no, they don't. But they, they just okay. jump over stuff. You know what? I, and, and I was really disappointed. There is not a goddamn gold coin in this movie That's at all. That's what I all. thought. Yeah. There is no. not a... F- I played the, that game and I was like, all I wanted was those fucking coins. Not a fucking coin in this movie. Although there is talk about getting their coins. There is talk about getting their coins. Really? Well, let's. I'll, I'll play the clip. I'll play this clip of the well, coin getting scene. I'm about to be shamed right here. All right, here we go. Coin getting scene. Are you boys new here in town? Lady, we're looking for somebody, and we're from Brooklyn. Yeah. You know, boys, it's very dangerous here in this neighborhood. You Uh, shouldn't wander around without a weapon. Yeah. You got one? No. All right. Get him on, suckers! Koopa coins! I need Koopa coins, you labels! Well, this don't, don't, don't touch that! Hey! That's fine! That's not even ours! Hey! Uh-oh. Let me go! What are you doing? She wanted those super coins. Hey. 
And now a woman throws her off her. It's okay. Everyone remembers the crazy old lady who wants Koopa coins in the Super Mario game. Right? <laughs> who, who's an old lady who can be thrown off of a bridge, land in a car, <laughs> get up and start shooting the driver? <laughs> that woman wants her coins. Three quarters of that scene, there, it is a stocky man playing that character. <laughs> like, visibly a man. Also, in that scene, why does every car have sparklers on it? <laughs> every car that's driven, it looks like a, like a, like a web bumper. This. Oh, yeah, why? Okay, because it, it is, they're run on electricity grid, because this is how the, uh, uh, the buses in Boston used to run, where they have these big things that go up to wi electricity wires that run through the city, so they have to, and they create sparks that that's how they get uh, driven. Okay. So it works that, on the same. It, it works on the same thing as a bumper car at a state fair. Yes, <laughs> and that's why they all have the. A, all right, well there we go. All right, you've, <laughs> you've proven you've, you've answered my question. That's with the, the part that I was like, oh, I get it. That makes sense. <laughs> I can lock into this. Oh yeah, now I'm in. <laughs> yeah, and now you got me. I'm just looking for something that is, takes something universal and applies it, <laughs> it. Applies it to my individual experience. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Um, there are so, I mean, man alive. Oh, so, we, oh my yeah. God. There's so many things I want to talk about. Please. <laughs> when Mojo Nixon gets turned into a toad-headed man. Yes. He and is. they give him his harmonica back. Yes. Yeah. So, so Mojo Nixon, so, oh God. So Dennis Hopper has a, a machine that um, can either. <laughs> yeah. Now. Guys, this movie is fucking garbage. <laughs> I would argue it's not even garbage. It's it's art. It yeah. is the closest thing to art that I've seen. It's, it's experimental abstract. art. It's it is. Yeah, this is like a student it's film with a hundred million dollars. So Dennis Hopper has a machine that can either um, evolve you further or yes. devolve you, right? Right. So it can bring you. It can make. He makes dumb people very smart, and he makes <laughs> regular people so dumb that they have tiny toad and or lizard heads. But big bodies. But big bodies. Giant bodies. It only bodies. shrinks their brain. They only shrink. Not only does it shrink their brain, but it shrinks the skull and everything. So their heads are yeah. Their heads. Yeah. So he's yeah. in the process of doing this. He shrinks Mojo Nixon's head to. A, so he's one of the the Goombas. Yes. Right. Is what they're called. Are Goombas, Goombas part of the game? Yes, Goombas are part of the game. What part of the game are they? The mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> I, do, I do like, though, that they go like, oh, the, we got to tell everybody these Goombas are coming to Brooklyn. Which, you know, hey, look, there's already Goombas in Brooklyn, <laughs> man. We already know that. We saw the front of But the Mojo Nixon Goomba is, gonna, is a good guy, right? He's like, he, has a, he still has a conscience, left, so he, he kind of helps them. And they must have been like, how are we going to know the good Goomba from the rest of them? What about that harmonica? Put the harmonica back on him. <laughs> and then he plays the harmonica and it tricks all the Goombas into dancing. Which is their weakness. They we, love it. They, 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 they love it. They love it so much when they're in the elevator. It's so sweet. Their big bodies and their little heads. <laughs> and, when, so when, and when questioned, don't they just simply say, everyone loves to dance? Like as Look. if... You were to play music for anyone, that. that would be the end all be all. Right. I'm not a scientist, but I would say that everybody does love to dance. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't have to be a scientist way, though, for that. You just have to be no human nature. That's right. But why does everyone love to dance in the same beat to the same Like this. It's kind of like exact. a slow rock, yeah. which allows the Mario Brothers to walk behind them as they make a turn. <laughs> but the Mario Brothers are here the entire time, they just walk right behind them. Um, there is a lot of dancing in this movie. Do you remember Mario's sexy dance with the busty woman? Big he Bertha. loves her, too. Oh, he loves there her, too. There was a lot of chemistry, and I think Bob Hoskins was, like, on fire He's a during sexy this. dude. Yeah. He was, like... Wait, with, with Big Bertha? That yeah. 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 Oh, remember that? that he was, was dancing with her super sexy. So much so that she's like, you know what? You keep that artifact meteorite. But did you think that he... I want I, your artifact meteorite in right. between right. your, right. in your right. plumber pants. Okay. You can take the rock and give me the rock. Okay. 
I actually thought, I thought that he, well, first of all, I was confused because it didn't seem like he was putting this on to get away from her no. as a part of a bigger plan. It seemed like he genuinely liked her. Yeah, well, but he, had he forgotten about Daniela? He forgot. Point, well, first he was just trying to get it done. And he was like, nobody can resist the charm of the Mario. And then he goes up to her and I thought it was going to be really smooth. And he goes, hey, I'm your main man. <laughs> he rhymes, like, and she right? Like, and she just punched him right in the face. <laughs> Classic uh, Dennis Hopper line. Do you know what I love about mud? Yeah. It's clean and dirty at the same time. <laughs> Tell me that's not a Frank line from Blue Velvet. I mean, come on. Oh, man. We do have, I mean, Dennis Hopper does some of, some also solid acting in this movie, too. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't Everybody's cheat it. Brings it 100%, even when he is doing a scene with a pile of of goo like boogers like boogers yeah i will play you the scene of him doing <laughs> a scene if you're they... wondering whether there is sentient goo in this movie there is <laughs> and the sentient goo will give the mario brothers gifts if yeah, you just it trust helps them it. out if you try you, you gotta to trust, trust it. it you have to the goo looks a little bit like pasta um all right so here's the goo my mom you have let yourself go. You see? I'm not such a bad guy. You always wanted to be everywhere. Well, now you are. <laughs> and I want to tell you something. You can go ahead and choke this little mushroom kingdom all you want. Because I'm out of here. I'm out into the bigger world. I got a couple of plumbers bringing me the rest of the meteorite. Soon to be dead plumbers. And by the way, you really ought to try to pull yourself back together again. <laughs> Slime bucket. All right, so if you, can, if you can't see this, it is a tight close-up on Dennis Hopper as just a literally like just an oozing fountain of goo is just shooting out. I He's doing it. a scene with goo. I love that they left. he left the chair there for the yeah. goo, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> the goo, just, just for those of you who can't put it together, because it's pretty obvious, the goo is the former king of this universe, or this dimension, rather, who Dennis Hopper put through the de-evolution machine and reduced him to, to goo a state. fungus. He is a fungus. And everybody is like, the fungus. Every, you have to be cleaned of the fungus. And then meanwhile, the fungus is... Right? Mushrooms are a thing in the game, right? And yes. he keeps giving... The goo keeps trying to give them mushrooms, and they don't really do dick with them. Well, only at the end when Bob Hoskins is able to shoot the devolver gun back at Dennis Hopper. Oh, the yep. mushroom grows. Yeah, That's the mushroom right. grows. Because he trusts the mushroom. Uh, I mean, that's the whole lesson. He, uh, Luigi's telling him from the very beginning, the trust my skills, trust my this, trust my that. Luigi gives him no reason to trust him because every time Luigi does something, it's dumb. But uh, at the end of the movie, he goes, well, let me just try trusting him one I'm time. I'm starting to understand what was happening with the character arcs. So Luigi's <laughs> arc... Well, no, Luigi's teaching <laughs> Mario to really just trust in the universe, trust that things are going to happen for a reason, just trust and believe. And Mario is trying to teach Luigi over and over to use the tools that he has with him. So, yeah. so wow. you're saying yeah. Luigi... Lu <laughs> June just broke it down, broke it open. Take a bow. Take a bow. That is... Wow, that wow, is June's, wow, wow. June's final episode of How Did This Get Made. <laughs> she figured it out. <laughs> She figured it out better than the nine scriptwriters. <laughs> that is a that is a pretty heavy like like one is to put your faith in a higher power and one is to believe in yourself. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty real religious message is going on in this movie. And then I guess the answer is do a little bit of both. <laughs> I will say, watch <laughs> yeah. this movie. Watch this movie because that scene with Dennis Hopper in the pile of goo is awesome. What's more awesome is the pile of goo is Samantha Mathis's father. <laughs> And when she is reunited with the goo, it's amazing. I wish it you. Is, it's wonderful. It is 
bonkers. She has like a, she's like, has like a, oh my God, like, you're my father. Like, as if to say yeah. she was reunited with a real man yeah. for the first time, an orphan finding her father, except that it is a dripping goo. jizz bucket. Well, not only that. <laughs> Which, and, and the jizz, like, and the jizz bucket does get turned into Lance Hendrickson at the end of the movie. Yes. But, but also, <laughs> before, before that, when he's still goo, right after Daisy meets him, John Linguizamo, Luigi also meets him and is introduced to him. It's as though he's meeting her dad for the first yes. time. It's a pile of goo. She's like, uh, hold on. She goes, hang like, on, hang on. There's somebody I want you to meet. <laughs> this is my father. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, as like a stalactite of jizz erupts from the ceiling. <laughs> Stalagmite, which is the one that hangs down. Either way, in this movie, it doesn't make a difference because in the dinosaur world, it's the opposite. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, well, I, I, wanted, I wanted to try something different because we're doing a live show and we never have done this before. But if, you have, if you've seen the movie and you have a question about something that stuck out to you, I, I, I will take a question from you guys. Do anyone have a question? Or do we nail it? Do we nail it all? I'm pretty sure we're fucking yeah. killing it tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it. If you have a question, you raise oh, your hand. Oh, yeah, we'll we got one right here. Okay, great. Okay, let me go get the mic over to you. All right, here it is. So uh, we just watched this last night. Okay. And, uh, You're welcome. Yes, yes, yeah. That was a great hour and 45 minutes. But we were wondering, why is there vo like an ele election posters? Yeah, why is there an election like, poster oh, yeah, in a dictatorship? That, is, is, that yeah. is a yeah. very good question. It is, a, it is a monarchy. It's it a is monarchy. a monarchy because he is King yeah. Koopa. Okay. And it was a monarchy before that, by the way. It wasn't yeah. a democracy. Samantha because his father is the, the old goo king. is also a king. Maybe he just, it's to keep morale up as if they do have a choice. <laughs> like just a, a chance to be like, hey, you know, it's a, you're not really stuck. Nobody I, else is running, but. But, but the first thing that they do when the Mario Brothers win is to paint over those propaganda signs. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. They're and like, you know what it is? That's they're a like, first they're, order they're business. Like, All right, it happened. And they do it like. But also, no, like, he's, he's like really on them. Like, Koopa is like on everyone. But then when he calls the pizza place, they're like, oh, hey, Koopa. <laughs> yeah. You know, like. He's he like, it's Koopa. Like, him, he makes a lot of pizza phone his calls. Pizza, his pizza is a runner through the whole movie. There's, like, big battle scenes where he's on his walkie-talkie, and he's like, I want all the Goombas uh, to invade, ready to invade, and where's my pizza? <laughs> and then, like, two scenes later, he's talking on the thing again. The guy's like, oh, your pizza's here. Well, you know what? I just had a question <laughs> about this. Is, is the land that he inhabits, is it as big as Earth, or is it only as big as Brooklyn? Well, remember, he has that, that globe. So what it Most is, is it's desert. just a few streets... With, with the skyscrapers, it's a tiny little city, oh, okay. and then the rest of their planet is the desert. The desert. Oh, right. And you can't drive your car there. <laughs> Forgot about the whole desert sequence. Any other questions from the crowd? If you have a question, you raise your hand, I'll come out to you. Well, Jason, should we play the, uh, well, Jason and I talk about this one image in the movie, which oh my is God. super is dark. <laughs> um, <laughs> this shit is mental. Um, Maybe we'll play it and then just stop it. We can talk about it, but I don't want to reveal it. You just it tell is. us what part of this scene you think is really pretty fucking crazy. All right, here we go. Can we get, we're going to put on the screen to dim the house lights for a second. Here we go. Look! Oh, it's Tower! Those guys will do anything for publicity. All right, so what everyone is reacting to, <laughs> what everyone is reacting to is... Super Mario Brothers kind of called 9-11, basically. It, uh, it showed the destruction of the Twin Towers. Uh, there Too it soon? is. Uh, Too soon, you guys? It was one of the most disturbing images. Like, I was like, oh, God. Oh. I literally, I was watching this, and I was like, Whoa. <laughs> And especially because they do fall down like that, yeah. it's very upsetting. Uh, and that led us to have a conversation, which was, do you think Osama bin Laden saw this movie? <laughs> saw this movie in, like, a cave in Pakistan and was like, you know what we have to do? This exact thing. We have to, but we have we to don't King have Koopa this, it. We, we have don't to King have Koopa. this gun that will devolve things, so we're going to have to fly planes into it. <laughs> That's the only thing we can do. Osama too much, bin Koopa. Too Osama much bumper shoot. <laughs> okay, another another question right here. Another question. Uh, how financially successful was this movie? Because every time I go to Target, it's still featured on the shelves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're still trying to get rid of it. They're just, uh, um, 
I, I, I will tell you, I actually have the, uh, the stats on the, uh, the expensiveness of the movie. I, I'm, I don't know how much it costs. I feel like it must have cost uh, too much. Um, Bob Hoskins later has admitted that he got drunk throughout the whole filming of this movie. Um, and John Leguizamo wrote about it in his book. Let me see here. I'm just going to get John the... Leguizamo I... has a book? <laughs> yep. I did a I lot of research for this one. I you're figuring that out, Paul. There's a point where they're, they're not in the costumes for the, most of the movie that we know them from, from the video game. And then all of a sudden in one scene, they're in like a bright red and green. Ooh, yellow. And, and yellow. Yeah, ketchup sorry, and plumbers, mustard, like futuristic co- Yeah, suits. like costumes. Yeah. Like they kind of look wait, like, you t- they wait, you look like they're the suits in the- they wear? In the club? First they're wearing those, when he, when he fights Big Bertha, they first change into a, an all red woman's suit on Lake Guzamo <laughs> no. and an all yellow suit. Suits. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about those. I'm talking okay. about the, the plumber suits with correct, the yeah. overalls and the The ones buttons. that make them look like they're in Boys in the Hood. Yes. Where did, where did those come from? Didn't they grab them out of a locker in order to sneak into somewhere else? Yeah. I can't remember. Oh, okay. So we're the not going to understand, though, that that's sort of the origin of these suits. So when we've watched the video games, that's where the suits came from. The when we watch the video games, <laughs> like we all do. I just watched Paul play I only watch. I only watched the cutscenes of Mario. Um, <laughs> the, movie, the movie was made for $48 million. What? Wow. And it only made $21 million. That is still uh, yeah. way more than I would have thought it would have Where been. Is and that money? a lot of people blame the failure of this film on Jurassic Park, which was released the following week. Please. Uh, that's like that's like I heard Pete, I heard Pete Berg say Battleship didn't work because Avengers came out. <laughs> nope, not nope. the case. Not the case. Not true. Uh, <laughs> Um, obviously, we had uh, you know very strong opinions, but uh, there are some people who thought differently. So now it's time for a second opinion. The movie was a piece of shit. Yet this person recommends it. Tell me what is the message? Maybe that art is subjective. Second opinion. Um, these are uh, reviews culled from Amazon. Uh, these are all five-star reviews of Super Mario Brothers. Now, I will say, this is the hardest second opinion I have ever had to do because the fans of this movie are bananas, <laughs> and they have no sense of humor, <laughs> and they're kind of volatile. So I tried to take the ones that were a little lighter. Um, Here's one of them from F. Smith Jr. I bought this for a friend. She really liked it. I like her. Everything's just fine. Yeah! That's like a haiku. That's an amazing haiku. (laughs) Um, This one's a little bit longer, but I still like it. Um, I really like the movie and spent a lot of time yelling, oh no, then, oh never mind. It's funny. I thought I was going to die of laughter. There's a lot of action, too. So if you're an action fan, this is for you. My friend and I laugh at this movie a lot. We normally do stuff like this. Hey, remember the part where Mario and Luigi are at the police station, and the guy's like, your name? Mario. Last name? Mario. Oh, yeah, and then he asks Luigi, your name? He goes, Luigi. Luigi, Luigi? No, Luigi, Mario. And then, okay, how many Marios are we talking about here? Three Mario, Mario, and Luigi, Mario? <laughs> But our favorite is Goombas. <laughs> Strong, lethal, and stupid. <laughs> so he just talked to you, he just took you through a kind of a conversation that he has with his friend. Um, another fact that I thought was really interesting about this movie that deserves to be mentioned, again, like we said, John Leguizamo, yes, he does have a book, his autobiography. He said the director, Rocky Morton, once poured hot coffee on an extra's head because he didn't like the extra's costume. Now... Just to put this in perspective, the extra has no control over what he's wearing. <laughs> yeah, this is a, how, how much money did it cost to make this movie? A 40, 40 okay, yeah, something yeah. million extras dollars. Extras are not bringing their costumes. No. They are being handed to them. The director poured hot coffee on an extra's head because he did not like his costume. You know what? I'm cool with that. <laughs> I mean, right? Oh. Fucking extras. 
We're the right thing, you dummies. Uh, any, uh, any other questions? Any other, uh, any other thoughts from the audience? Yes. Oh, in the back. All right. Here we go. What does a good donkey say? What, oh, this is a joke. All right. What does a good donkey say? What? Hee-haw. All right. It was worth it. Okay. <laughs> wait. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does the donkey say? Jason, you're not a scientist. Yeah, you're not. You're not. All right. Shit. Do you have any donkey jokes? I, I do not. I appreciate the way that that donkey joke was delivered. Um, I, I, okay, I, what is I, your question? I, I am not a jackass. <laughs> okay. Um. This was 20 years ago. Where were you guys when this movie came out? Because when this came out, this was before Jurassic Park, and we all thought... A week. Jurassic Park. That's awesome. That looks great. Right. We all thought Super Mario's, that looked awesome, that looked great. Where were you guys when this came out? Guys, locations. What, what year is it? What year did this come out? 93. 93. Maybe that specific location? 93. I was in high school. I was a sophomore in college. I was probably trying to finger someone unsuccessfully. Oh, God. Un unsuccessfully. It did not go well for me in college. Um, and I did not have any clue. If there had been a Legend of Zelda movie, I probably would have gone to see it. I couldn't have given a shit about Super Mario Brothers, though. I was stalking Bob Hoskins. Um, oh, shit. Everywhere Those he guys went. are leaving. Did we offend you guys? <laughs> the donkey Dubai, joke. Dubai, God, I bet they're fucking scientists. <laughs> I bet they're fucking scientists. Yeah, I don't even remember. I really I don't remember, remember this movie even movie. coming out. I do. I feel like I do. I was 11. Uh, I was a child, but I wasn't allowed to um, have a Nintendo or play the games. And I remember people... Why not? Um, because my parents are weirdos, and we grew up, I grew up in a haunted house in the woods in Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> you had your own ghost to Yeah, play we didn't have any extras besides the spirits. You're um, not going to get a Nintendo. Go play with the ghosts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I remember being sad that I couldn't uh, see it, but also too scared to see it. Like, it seemed scared. like it was, it was for boys. Well, I'll, yeah. <laughs> All yeah, right. I'll, I'll stand scared by that. Scared because yeah. it was for boys? Also, when I was watching this, I was scared of those little head big bodies. Yeah, um, they are. They are scary. Oh, scare the shit I will out of me. say about that guy who turned into one of the Goombas. What, what's his name again? Mojo okay. Nixon? Yes. Yeah. He seemed a lot happier as a Goomba. Yeah, he smiled a lot. He like did. He, seemed he was like not it was busking a, on the street anymore yeah, yeah, for money. He like definitely has. He has the best arc in the movie. He's the most yeah. satisfying character arc in the movie. You know what I love about him is he brings Princess Daisy some meat, and she's like, "Oh no, I don't like that or whatever." Do you have any steamed vegetables? And he's like, Ugh. "You know, like." He does and that. he does, and for some reason, he knows where to get them. Yeah. By the and way, he, like, gets them. Terrific Goomba impression. That yeah. was a good one. There's a remake you need to get in yeah. for one of the final. Goombas. Final thoughts on this. Is it worth watching? A hundred percent. I think so. I think Again, so. it is it. free yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> take it in small doses. Don't take it in small doses. Watch, d d like, drop acid and watch this movie. <laughs> So that's it for How Does It Get Made Live in Bumbershoot Super Mario Brothers with the movie. You can follow me on Twitter at Paul Shear. You can follow Jenny Slate on Twitter at Jenny Slate. And June is at Miss June Diane. Uh, one thing I want to draw your attention to, if you did not watch the full movie, you have to stay through the credit sequence because at the end of the credit sequence, there's a little scene where Japanese men come into Mario and Luigi's house and decide that they want to buy their story for a video game. You see, so it does tie in. You see, the Japanese video game guys didn't get their life right. It wasn't that the game was poorly translated. It was the Japanese guys didn't understand their story the right way. So it all makes sense. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.